Okay, so today we're gonna to take a look at an automatic pet feeder by Wopet. And this is currently $79.99, but there is a 10% off coupon you can apply as well. So this does have automatic controlled feeding. It can record messages in order to get your pets to come and eat. This is built with food grade material. So the dimensions are 8.4 by 13.1 by 14.9 inches. And it can hold 3.8 pounds of dry pet food. And it does have a battery backup. It takes three D batteries. Plus there's a timer for when you're gonna feed your pets. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so yeah, that actually looks pretty deep where the food goes into. So here's the power adapter. A nice metal tray that does have some kind of coating on it. Customer service information. And of course, a user manual. Here on the front, you've got your speaker. And then of course the bottom plastic tray here just pops right in. And then it's got tabs here on each side in order to remove the bottom tray. And then right here on the top, you've got a button to push in order to open the lid. And then right here on the bottom is where you plug in the power. And then it's got a little route for the cable so it doesn't smash it. Once you hit the button to release the lid, you can access the controls. You've got your mic, record button, feed button, on and off switch, and then your arrows to navigate the numbers. So first let's power it up and set the time. So now you wanna hold the set button for three seconds. After you set the clock, you just hit set again. And then when you see copies flashing, you just arrow down. So the max portion is eight with 10 grams of each. Then you can set what time you want it to feed for each meal. And it does say if you only need three meals or less to set some of the portions to zero. If you want to record, you just press record button. The alarm LED lights up. Then you just speak right into the mic within 15 seconds and then release the record button to stop recording. And then that message will play automatically when feeding. And then if you just want to do manual feeding, you just press the feed button for three seconds, then release. So first let's try it with one portion. So this is considered one portion and this dog food is actually considered toy breed. Let's go ahead and move this up to eight portions just to see how much it is. and it actually doesn't seem like any difference. All right, let's try it at four just to see what the difference is. I don't know, that doesn't seem like much different. Maybe a couple less. Yeah, this seems really inconsistent. I mean, you see the difference in that? Okay, so that's a lot more. I don't know what's up with these portions. Okay, so let's try the recording feature and see how that works. Okay, boys, time to eat. Okay, boys, time to eat.
Okay, so after testing this for a little while, there are a few things to point out that you may want to consider before purchasing this. I think how well this is going to work will mainly depend on the size of food that you're going to be using. Here's the three different sizes of pet food that I tested. If you have a large breed dog and you're going to use dog food about this size, yeah, I would probably not recommend this because not that much comes out, it sort of gets stuck in there. And to me, it just seems like this machine isn't really made for larger pet food. Now, if you have a smaller dog like our cockapoo, we feed it toy sized dog food, which are these two here. And it definitely works a lot better with that. Definitely the easiest food to use on this is kitten food, just because it fits so much better in the bottom of the container. And you can see there's only so much space for the dog food to actually rotate and then come out through the feeding spout. That's why I say it's definitely better the smaller the pet food is, the better this is gonna work. So overall, I do like this automatic pet feeder as long as you're gonna use smaller sized pet food. And I do like the fact that you can record your voice as it feeds, but unfortunately, it's not that loud but I guess it doesn't have to be since pets seem to have supersonic hearing. So I'd say if you're looking for something fairly cheap to feed your cats while you're gone, or just to feed your pets some treats periodically, I think this would really be a good option. But if you have larger pets or large breed dogs like our Golden Doodle, I would say you wanna look at something that can handle larger pet food. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.